All right, guys, we'll do an outside walk around and then we'll hop inside and I'll walk you through all the options of the- Yo, you wanna see something cool? No. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, guys, now that we got her pulled out of the water, I'm gonna do a walk around for you and then we'll hop inside and check out all the options it's got. All right, let's go. Starting with the bow, you can see that this customer opted for bow lights. We run Rigid Industries LED pods. There's two spots and two floods. Coming around this side, you can see the blacked out coastal logo, along with the blacked out Raider symbol. He went with the Bernawin system. Once we get in there, I'll show you that he, uh, he went with the six Bernawin universal mount system. Bernawin rod holders in the sides there. Went with Suzuki. It's got a 9.9 kicker and a 300 horsepower main. Got trim tabs, pocketed swim ladder. One of the awesome features that this customer went with is the Easy 80 Crab Pop Puller. Now that Crab Pop Puller goes right through a welded bracket that's in the gunnels and goes down and just hooks in with a cotter pin. So it comes out super easily. You can take it off, stow it right inside your boat. These crab pullers are pretty sweet because they've got cotter pins right up here that we'll show you when we hop in. So you can actually just take it apart and stow it right inside your seat box. Let's hop inside. These transom mounted bait tanks are my favorite way to do it. They're just absolutely awesome. Leaving out all this deck space and you still get to have live bait. Showed you this in my last video. We'll run through it again. You got your drawers here. And the bait tank inside for live bait anchovies for tuna fishing it's all beveled around the sides so that your fish don't uh, run into the square walls and end up being dead by the time you get to your fishing spot here's your stand pipe down here in the corner it's where your water squirts out to circulate keep your fish alive and swimming until you get to your fishing hole Going around the sides here, start with the starboard side. You see, you went with rod lockers, starboard and port. Here's your crab pot puller, Bernoulli system. You also went with the Garmin Fusion speaker setup. So, there's two speakers in the back here. There's also two in the cab that we'll show you. Get your N4 fish box. Perfect for making ice slurries to ice down fish on your way back or bleeding out rockfish after you get done fishing. Looking at the bulkhead, you see you went with the second station that we've got the kicker rigging mounted to. Storage inside here. This customer also opted for the welded down diamond plate deck. So if you guys don't already know, whenever you get to the Coastal Series, Diamond Plate is a standard, but it's screwed down. He went with all welded. It's so clean. Got your non-skidded gill bracket back there. I don't think I ran you guys through this before. But the awesome thing about our gill brackets is that the hole extends all the way to the back of the gill bracket. So this is a 25 foot boat, but really the bottom of the boat's 27 feet. All of our gill brackets are chambered, creating between 1,600 and 2,000 pounds of buoyancy, depending on what model of boat you have. So that's pretty awesome. It's a pretty cool safety feature. It takes all the weight of the motors, plus more off the back of the boat, gets you a nice flat, smooth ride. This customer went with a Garmin 1042 on the back. Get this pulled off of here. Got your Garmin screen there. Also went with our Lumatech light bars in the back. Those things are crazy bright for lighting up your deck whenever you're fishing. 
Got our rocket launchers up top. We went with four on each side. You can also see right behind them. Got your Garmin radar. Your antenna mounted over here to the side of the radar arch with a stainless steel mounting bracket. Let's hop inside. Here's one of my favorite features of the boat. And that's our charter interior package. Now I'll tell you what, the first time I saw one of these done, I was absolutely floored. I mean, it looks so good. What charter interior means is you get 190 plate welded down as the floor and all of your seat boxes are welded to it and covered in our Kiwi Grip non-skid. We've got the 40 inch seat boxes. It's all storage under them, all carpeted. Got your in-floor box here. That is the tank for your diesel heater. Then you've also got storage. So that way it's easily accessible if you ever need to do anything to it. Under seat storage here on both sides. All carpeted, super nice. Here's the interior fusion speakers mounted down there under the shelves. Got our binnacle plate to mount our top mount digital rigging on. It's got a Garmin 1243XSV, Suzuki gauge, and here's your fusion head unit right above the fuel gauge. So that's where you can control your stereo from. Got your VHF mounted up top here. In the bow here, got our Garmin puck there. I'm gonna show you how these light pods get mounted. So we just weld a little bracket inside of our rails, mount our light pods to it, and the wire goes right down through the pole there. And then it's just gone. So you never have any wire in your way. Looking up top here, you got Garmin over there, your antenna. All right, guys, that does it for my video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe.